What up, guys? We're back on Retropia again. We're doing the RRLCS tournament previews. We got our last quarterfinal game, or I guess semifinal game, since the regions are split up. And that is Weedem Girls versus Kapow in Europe. Should be a fun one to watch. Weedem Girls coming in as the number one seed. They beat everyone in the group stage. They had maybe two three twos, I think, overall, but they did win every single set. They even won with a sub in week two, which I thought was really impressive. Uh, like, some people are saying DeBoer was playing great. Like, I think he played well. I just don't think he really did anything that mattered too much. Like, in the later games of some of the series, he did. But for the most part, Greasy and Remco were just doing everything offensively, at least. And, and DeBoer was there to, like, make sure the ball stayed in the zone. But they were doing a phenomenal job. Uh, by themselves. They even beat Maki to U like that, which is really impressive. And, like, uh, the uh, a weird thing is, or the thing everyone should be worried about in Europe is Maestro w was the one that was hot that week in Rocket Royale. So Maestro could have been their best player that week. <laughs> and they played without him. Still not 2v3, but 2.5 versus 3. Uh, the other teams, and they were phenomenal. So that's going to be really scary for any team that has played Weedem Girls. I think Weedem Girls is huge favorites. Probably bigger favorites than Cosmic to win their region. Like, I think Cosmic will have a harder time against Kings than Weedem Girls will have against Mocket or Flipside. Like, if I was, like, an odds maker, I would have the odds slightly worse, or I guess better whatever you want to call it, for Weedem Girls to win the, the whole thing. Like, you wouldn't get paid as much, basically, if they won the whole thing, and you bet on them. And then Cosmic. Uh, so let's just go right into their team first, and then we'll go over to Kapow. So we got Remco, also known as Rem God. He's probably, like... So if I had to make, like, a top five in Europe right now, he would definitely be in it. I would probably put uh, Pashi in it, but Pashi's been a little bit worse lately maybe from what i've seen um then like the flip side boys are basically like you could put any of them in it on any given day and greasy oh the scary thing is greasy and maestro i could also put in on any given day so that's what seven players that i have for a top five and i don't really know how to decide against them so we'll just say there's seven right now i'd probably put cooks a little lower maybe and on some days, Mike can be a little bit worse, but whatever. Let's get right into it. We got Rem God. He's phenomenal in the air. The entire Weedem Girls team is the fastest in the air by far of any other team, I think. Uh, they just get up quick. It's that simple. Oh, that would have been an amazing dunk if you would have hit that. Uh, let's see if I can get this. Oh, I just missed. Okay, we got it. <clears throat> And, uh, <laughs> I have the least points. Fuck you. Nah, not anymore. Um, yeah, Rem God, he's just insane in the air. And if that ball's in the air, the, one of the three from Weedem Girls is going to get it. They will throw it off the backboard. And you will be in net like, please miss. And they won't. So it's going to be extremely scary. One thing th they do sometimes is they just don't do those backward passes like they just don't get enough control on the ball to do them and that's when they lose is when they just don't score they're pretty good on the defensive side like even when they're rotating they usually are pretty good at getting back um so it just turns into like can they score sometimes they don't score basically and it's, it's like that simple that should be a save okay that's enough um and that's mostly because they just don't pass or they try for the open field passes maybe a little too much and they just don't work out too well like uh market or i'm sorry a uh, kapow will pressure them and kapow's been playing really well this past week so weedem girls might have some troubles in a game or two uh, uh with scorn but i think overall they will win it uh weedem girls actually 4-1 kapow in the first week of this group stage i believe it was 4-1 so i believe it was week one that that's what i'm more worried about i think it was week one so they have set a precedent, but I think Kapat was really strong this week, and they played better than their week one play. So you just never know. But, um, Weedem Girls might just be too good. Maestro, he's he's a beast. Crazy Maestro. They're all just beastly at, like, getting up to the ball. I actually 
haven't watched them too much on their defensive rotations to see like who's usually back on defense which i'll have to go check out like i'm more just watching their offensive play because they usually have the pressure up where they're just on offense all the time um so i haven't really focused in too much on their defensive play i, like, I have to look at that some more i haven't had time to look at everything so all three of them though i would say super fast to the ball when it's in the air and they're really good at backward passing and like i would even say wall passing like if they're on the wall as well so they just gotta be careful uh kapow has to be careful of not being too passive in net so if you're too passive in net then they will uh do those passes on you you have to attack them and not let them get those passes and that could be hard to do but that's what kapow has like has to do in order to win this then we'll go over to kapow we got turbo we got sniper i guess just sniper now i'm not really sure and a lot so like i played against these guys in the pro league quarterfinals and we went to seven games and it was super super tight they were really good guys like i think a lot is their best player when he has the ball he just does more uh, uh with it than everyone else on their team i think personally and he's usually that one to make someone miss or something and get ready for the pass and then, like, do an awesome pass off the wall. He was doing that all during the uh, a group stage. His passes off the wall were insane. And Sniper is their third man, uh, generally. He, like, keeps that ball from clearing. And he'll move up when he has to. And he actually moves up pretty, uh, pretty uh, like, aggressively as well. Um, and he, um, he did an amazing job against uh, Flipside. Moving up aggressively um, against a lot. Or, I'm sorry, when a lot was going for the pass. And actually reading the passes really well, which is hard to do when... Because, like, a lot was trying to, like, air dribble the passes out uh, off the wall. Um, so it's really hard to read those because you don't know how many touches that they'll get. So it's, it was really well done by Sniper. He was also doing a lot of 50-50s after both a lot and Turbo would mess up and they would be out of the play. He would still challenge the ball and keep the ball in that zone to waste time for his teammates to get back for boost. Which was really impressive. And I thought he was playing really well during the flip side set. And even the market set, he was a little bit quieter, but towards the end, they were all playing better. So look out for him as that third man to make some plays, like either on the a defensive side or just cleaning up or going for the passes. And then we got, of course, Teru Bo Pulsar. It's going to make Carpet have a seizure. I assume Carpet's going to cast that game. If we had to choose, we want Carpet to cast that game. <laughs> so, he'll probably be casting it, I assume. And it uh, should be a good one. But Turbo, he's just like solid all around. Sometimes, from what I've seen, he'll get in the way of his teammates. But that might just be a whole team thing. But generally, Kapow, like at least on Sunday, they were really good about giving everyone space. And, and doing a really good rotational set where they would have that one guy up who might miss or something or challenge. And then that second guy would either clear it or be there for the pass from the third guy pretty much all the time. Like, they were spacing out really well. Uh, I don't... Like, I don't have much to say about Turbo. He seemed a little quiet during the group stages, but it could have just been where he was uh, positioned, like, when a lot would go for passes was the time Turbo was going back for boost and, like, and going back to be that three-man. So it could have just been that, that just the plays were forming around Sniper and a lot more than Turbo. Turbo, generally, though, he's really good mechanically. Like, I actually like Kapow because they actually try, like, weird face-off things. For a while there, I'm not sure, like, if they're still doing it. Like, I wasn't watching too hard, but for a while there, they were actually purposely losing the face-off behind them. Or, um, yeah, behind them, like, uh, to that side. Like, if, So if you're on diagonal right, facing diagonal left, you usually want to push it um, to the left, like past the diagonal left car, because that's where your guy is going to move up to. But they actually do it differently and try and throw it to the right side, like on his own side, and have their middle guy go around and get boost and be that guy. So that changes up a lot because the other team will always try and win it that way. So you, you can actually win it a lot, like you get it a lot, by doing that. And then uh, then you also have like a lot. He's probably their best like cheater upper guy. And again, like as I was saying, when he has the ball to himself, 
he usually makes some plays. So, they usually try and feed him when they can, I think. But, Turbo, I don't know. He was just a little quiet this past week. I haven't seen a ton from him recently. Um, in the first set we watched, he actually was scoring a lot of goals. So, I think it was more a lot to Turbo. And Sniper didn't have to do too much. And then Sniper just came in when he's needed. So, just look for him in a lot to just keep that um, aggression up. And keep uh, we and girls in check, basically. And not let them have just, like, free roam of whatever. But, like, if Kapow plays like they played against Flipside, if they can continue the defense that they had. Like, there were some games where they just didn't let Flip score, but then others, they let six in. So they really have to play those well. Like, they need to either make the shots not happen, or just be ready and make them have weak shots. It's going to be one of the two. Like, that was not a play you'd want to see from Kapow. <laughs> those goals we scored every time, but... Kapow has their work cut out for him. I think Weedem Girls just outclasses pretty much everyone in Europe right now. So I'm going to give it to Weedem Girls probably 4-1. I kind of want to say a sweep. I think Weedem Girls is going to show up. But I'll give Kapow one game because they tend to fight one out and take it. Like Even if they get outshot. And Weedem Girls tends to give up one when they completely outshoot a team. So... I'll give him one, but I think it'll be a 4-1. I don't think Kapow has much of a chance here, and that's just because Weedem Girls are so goddamn good. It's not really about uh, uh, Kapow at all, but... Is that in? Yes, we got it. So, I'll give it to Weedem Girls. I think it'll be a Weedem Girls flip side final, and that should be exciting. Last time they played, I think it was Gfinity. They went seven games. Uh, like, at least... Oh, that's the most recent one. So, Weedem Girls won that. And Weedem Girls usually wins those sets, and I would probably have them favored. I'm not going to do, like, semi-finals, or uh, I should say final predictions, because we don't know who the finals are. But I don't think I mentioned it, but I think in NA, I think it's going to be close. I might side with Kings of Urban over Cosmic. Cosmic has looked a little shaky here or there, but they're so goddamn good. It's like, when they do one mistake... You think they're shaky, but they're really not. They're just that fucking good. And it's like, ah, who cares? Like, they make a mistake, but then they score three insane goals. Um, but I think Kings, for some reason, I don't know why, but I think Kings is going to show up and beat Cosmic. I would say in six. Um, but that's just like an off-the-wall prediction. You know, well, like, all these are off-the-wall predictions, guys. So. Um, but yeah, so I think that, and I think in Europe... We will get the favorite to win. And Weedem Girls will win in... I think five. I think they're going to blow out Flipside. I, like, I think they're going to make a statement with this set. And they're going to come out strong. And they're going to win in five. I think so. Weedem Girls win both in five. I think Cosmic... Like, it's more of just like an upset alert. Like, I think Cosmic's better than Kings. But I, but for some reason, I think Kings is going to... Oh, what a shot. Great pass. Um, like, I think... Cosmic might just slip up. I don't know why. Like, it seems like when they're on stream, they play a little worse. And if it's the finals, like, I don't know if it's pressure or not. It might be. I'm not really sure. But I just think they just won't play as well for some reason. And Kings will just be on their game that day. So I'll go with the upset alert. I'll go with Kings in six. And Weedem Girls, the favorites, I will go in five. So that's my predictions for the finals. Third place games I'll do real quick, I guess. This all works out. I got Genesis in six over Vex. I just think Genesis might be slightly better, and it depends what Vex shows up. Sometimes Vex is better on some days, some days they're worse. Uh, their best is really good, it's just some like they don't show that all the time. I think Genesis will finally like do something in like a big tournament setting, and they'll at least come in third. And uh, Mocket EU will beat Kapow. Actually, you know what? I'm going to give it to Maki, uh, to Kapow, actually. I'm going to give Kapow in seven. I think it'll be a super close set. And we'll give it to Kapow. And, yeah. That's my predictions for this weekend. I will probably be totally wrong. I hope I am, because I want to see fun stuff. I want to see weird games. I want to see everyone go to seven. So, should be fun to watch, guys. And you can see me there this weekend. It starts Saturday at three. And... 3 p.m. Eastern, and Sunday I think it starts at noon Eastern, so come check me out, it'll be a lot of fun, and I'll see you guys there. Later.